what's going to happen with AI it generates an image and then it's going to carry on generating image and eventually it's going to become quite incestuous as it's going to be using its own generated images to make more generated images. And there's all this sort of AI interbreeding will produce deformed images, but then AI will learn while it goes along not to do that. Yeah. It's going to be very interesting, isn't it? We should have hope for the next generation of photographers and like future photographers, because you either have to adapt or die with AI. Yes. That's probably the biggest challenge photographers have faced, but like you were saying about cubism, the painters that came about when photography kind of became more commonplace adapted yeah. Picasso's work selling for hundreds of millions of pounds. So maybe this challenge has a lot of benefits because it's going to challenge photographers to create better work sure, and separate sure. themselves from the crowd. It is terrifying. When Photoshop came along, a lot of photographers were terribly threatened and they said, I would never touch Photoshop with anything. And it's now part of the, the workflow. Now, AI is a big, terrifying thing. And again, I think people will adapt and change because you have to, you're forced to. When people are in a corner, that's when they're often in their most inventive. So. I look forward to seeing where it's all going to go. I think it's rightly 